Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you how to use Oxygen's tabs element to add tabbed content to your pages in a very flexible way. So to add tabs to your pages, go to Add, Helpers, Tabs. And this will add three tabs to your pages, a tabs wrapper and tab content for each tab, which can be edited. So let's open the structure panel to see in more detail what's been added. We have a tabs element. This is our wrapper for each individual tab. You can choose the layout of the tabs. You can add another tab. We have each individual tab. And inside the tab, we can put anything we want to design the tab. So by default, there is text in each tab. Then we have our tabs contents element. This is a wrapper for all the tab content. Tab content is just a container, just like a div. And inside it, we have our text elements for our tab placeholder content. So we can put anything we want inside the tab content for each tab and anything we want inside each tab. So when we click the first tab, it shows the content inside the first tab content element. When we click the fourth tab, say, it will show the corresponding content in the corresponding tab content element. Third tab, second tab, etc. So let's go ahead and style these tabs. By default, let's only use three. So let's delete this another tab. We'll delete that. And deleting a tab doesn't delete its associated tab content because you might want it. So to delete that extra tab content, we just click it and delete. And now no tab content's visible until we click another tab. Now our tabs behave as normal. Okay, let's style the tabs. So to add styles to a tab, simply click the tab. And by default, Oxygen adds classes with a unique name to the tabs. So you can style the class to style all of the tabs at one time. It also adds an active class, so you can apply styles to the tab that only apply when that tab is active. So let's go ahead and add in, say, uh, some spacing on these tabs. So we'll go size and spacing. We'll go padding of 40 pixels. Let's close the structure panel so we can see what we're doing better. And actually, let's go with padding top of 30. And let's make them wider. Let's make them... Uh, say 180 pixels wide, you go all styles, uh, primary, stack vertically, align, center. Now let's go ahead and add an icon to the tabs. So we'll go add basics icon. I'll add a class to this icon. I'll call it my tabs icon. Let's drag it above the text in the tab. Whoops, there we go. Add some space below. And let's duplicate this into the other tabs and change the icon just so it looks good for demo purposes. Okay, now we have three tab icons. Let's adjust that size, bring it down a little bit. 40 is more reasonable and add some more space. Now let's adjust the text style. So we'll go back to the tab. There's a text element in the tab, but we'll just let it inherit the styles. So we'll go to the tab, typography, font size 21. And now let's add in a border. So we'll all styles, borders, one pixel, solid. Okay, now our tabs have borders. Now let's get rid of this pesky double border on the center tab. So we'll click the center tab, go to the ID for that tab, go to advanced, borders, border right, none, border left, none, and now we don't have the double border. Now let's create an active style for our tabs. So to do that, we'll just click a tab, go to the active class, and when the tab is active, we will adjust the background color. So now we've created totally custom tabs that switch between the content and our tab content. Now to edit that tab content, we can just simply, we could delete the text out of here 
and maybe the first tab we want to show an image. Okay, we add in an image. Now maybe the second tab we want to just show text. So we can leave the text in. Maybe we want custom content with a button, so we can add a button. Maybe we want uh, an icon box. So we can go helpers, icon box, put that in here. We can put anything we want in the tabs. There's tab one, there's tab two. Here's tab three to add tab content to tab three. Maybe we want some pricing boxes in tab three. Okay, that is how to use Oxygen's tabs element to create any design for tabs and put any content inside of those tabs. Thank you very much for watching.